the stakes could not be higher. They chose the right music for this. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cards? Pregnant yeah, that doesn't seem like a, a really responsible dude. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Yeah, that, that, that's a lingering question Wait, there. We shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere Well, else. duh, yeah, they're going to keep happening. steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around the lamp. Yeah, these cars especially wreck real bad. Peel off the sidewalk. You're calling them. I've had enough of those to last me a No, I, 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 I feel you there. Like... Whoop. There we go. Nice. Oh. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. It's fine. It's fine. It's just, it's just a mailbox. Don't worry about it. What have we got? The Third Street Gang and the Diamond Street Gang. Oh, damn. Mexican kids with nothing better to do than howl at each other. But no bloodshed so far. Okay, let's try to keep it that way. Well. Hope you brought plenty of ammunition, damn it. sir. I don't think we have a, a cap on LAPD, it. drop your weapons. There you go. All right. Just leg shots. We're just taking them down. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you guys got machine... What? You guys got machine guns? Okay, we may have got that guy on the ground a little bit. All right, so we got a shotgun now. Come on, buddy. Down you go. Down you go. How long do you think you can hold out? All right, where are you? You're right around here somewhere. Okay, we got one behind there. I think there's one behind this car right here. Oh, come on. That's our hat. That is sacred. There we go. Oh, God, there's more of them. Okay. All right, we got more incoming. I wonder if we could take one of these cars. It might help us in the race. All right, reload, 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 reload. Come on, Cole. I want you going down, buddy. Just my luck, out of ammo. Oh God damn it! That's what I was wondering. I'm like, we don't really get a good ammo count. There we go. Nicely done, Cole. Nicely done. Ooh. So it seems like a lot of these side KJ cases KJ are literally KJ. just shootouts. I need an ambulance at 1624 West Third Street, Code Four. Shots fired and suspects are down. Yeah. We, 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 we mostly shot out their legs. Yeah, the street crime are mostly shootouts so far. Which is fair, because it seems like obviously most of the like detailed casework doesn't have that stuff in it. Like you are, you are solving mysteries. All right. Yeah, the way they actually like change the tension with the music that you you are listening to between the different locations and suspects and, and it, it really is good at setting tone. Thread the needle, thread the uh, mostly threaded that one. <laughs> I mean, not a perfect threading. That's a stitch that'll look a little funny. Ooh, that was a good thread. Okay, we're, we're getting better. Maybe, maybe the, the driving won't be my undoing. But unfortunately, I do need to turn around because it's below this bridge. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to go right over here. Yeah, she said it was like a storm drain or something was, was where, like some service, yeah, service corridor or something. How the hell do we get to this? I guess we can go around here, yeah. There we go. Yeah, we found our street race. There's the red Ford. That's still got him right there. Yeah, you know, despite this isn't black and white, and I guess it also helps if, you know, you have a cover color blindness as well. They, they give you clues about which car it is, even if you can't see that it's a red Ford. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Yeah, we, we've been here for that race. Stay on Delgado. Oh, damn, they are unhappy that we're here. Fair enough, though. We're trying to break up the street race. I don't like this. Okay, straight through. 
Ooh, that, whoa, come on. Uh, that car looked like it just got catapulted into a different dimension. He's getting away. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. You're gonna lose him. I'm trying, my guy. Step on it, Bell. Take him out. Ooh. Go, 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 go. Delgado is our boy. Forget the others. Yeah, forget the others. Don't care about them. This is the guy we want. Now, again, it seems rather petty to go after him. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, we're we're getting the speed. Come on. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I'm trying. Oh, come on. Uh, we're losing a lot of speed in this, but hopefully we can. Into his wheel arches. I'm on. trying. Just driving in the water is not a great way to, to land good hits. Damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Come on. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, landing on the train will definitely uh, do that to a car. Come on, buddy. Come on. Gabriel Delgado, you don't want us to shoot you. Come on. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I Damn. should burn his fucking car. Yeah, you left a lot of evidence, buddy. You left a lot of evidence. You got a foreign dignitary out as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car yeah. either we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taken. I, I mean, I feel like the big fish to fry here is street. the diplomat. Like, you know, let everyone off the hook, get the diplomat. Haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, we made him proud. Look at that. Look at that. Landed on a goddamn train and we still got our guy. Yeah, I feel like we, we should let everyone walk except the diplomat because his crime is way worse than anything else. Yeah, we did a lot of vehicle damage, didn't we? <laughs> All right. No injuries, though. Hell yeah. Freshen it. You have any plans for weekend? Oh, Liberty okay, we're, 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 we're back in officer training. In Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. Okay. I'm meeting them at the station at six. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Yeah, they're, they're sisters. <laughs> Final inspection before Liberty. Oh, is Cole going to do him dirty again? Man, Cole, job, you are such a little boo looker. You teacher's pet here. Officer number one. All right. Oh, yeah, Are the hard ass is here. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if Ooh, any of you want damn. liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The oh, come dirty. on. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the boar's immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. A yeah. two-day field drill. God damn it. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Oh. Are you two finished? Man. You don't got his back? Come on. Rifle. No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the oh, real Oh, damn. Enemy. So he's just leaving the officers. Go into the rifle. Oh, wow. So, yeah, he really did this guy dirty. So maybe this is the thing he feels, like, regret over. Hmm. I guess it's being slowly illuminated to us. A marriage made in heaven. Oh, god damn. Oh. Oh, sh Sugar. Oh, okay. So we got a bit of a hit and run. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. Uh -huh. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. 
Got a patrolman on site. Okay. The coroner's on his way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses. Who yeah, I think it's going to be more of a splatter scene, but I guess we'll try our best. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. Ooh. You got a stakeout down on second later. Tonight. All right. Okay, cool. We can replay cases if we want to. I guess that it's helpful if we. I don't know. We missed a detail. Like what happens? No. Oh, oh. There's actually like a map. Oh, this is. This is helpful. Oh, wow. The city's big. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of city here. Cool. Oh, well, we have different outfits, too. I forgot about that. Golden Boy. Sunset Strip. The Broderick. The Sharpshooter. Chicago Lightning. Sword of Justice. Ooh. Kind of like... The, 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 I mean, we don't really get to see it, but I want to see how this one looks. Ooh, yeah, dark pinstripe. Very nice. Very classy. You think the vice boys get any on the side? <laughs> okay, didn't mean to have that confrontation in the stairwell there. That felt unnecessary. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Week to get an ID. That was a hell of a car chase that we just got through, though. Hmm, interesting. So, hit and run. Like I wonder DA if there was a witness there. It looked like the street was empty, though. And Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She's yeah, don't enough. do not do that to Anna Rodriguez. Know, She's an easy make, and the DA likes conviction. No, no. I'll convince him to let it go. Yeah. How do you do that? I'll give him something better. Ooh. I like the sound of that. Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't need that. Come on, she has suffered enough. Hmm. So it was right around the corner here, right? Oh, there's our, our street block off. All right, pull on in. Let's see what we got. It didn't look like there was a witness, but again, they may have been around a corner that we couldn't see. Or maybe they could see from inside the bar. Oh, God. Yeah, that guy is... Oh. Grizzly. Grizzly scene. Okay, so maybe the barkeeper saw something. Detectives, over here. All right, what do you got for us? Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Dick is a white male mm -hmm. named Lester Patterson. Lester Walked Patterson, out of the okay. Bar and into the street. It seems like a bar random crime, so I can't imagine that this was a premeditated drive. Have you canvassed the drive area? Drive-through. The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. Okay. She lives above the bar. Oh, great. Okay. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Gotcha. That's so. We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, okay. we're going to take a look around. So we have at least one witness. What else can we learn about this? Oh, the hat was literally knocked right off of him. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything with the hat. Well... Yeah, let's check out the body. And ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. God, oh jeez. Anything in the pockets? Who is who? Who, who do we uh, got here? Yeah, I mean we know the name already, but we can notify next of kin. We at least have the the address now. Okay. And still got cash in the wallet, so you have to assume it wasn't robbery, right? Monogrammed wallet, real classy. All right, anything else on him? Oh, wow. Ooh, what is this? Oh, huh. fire and life. Dear Mr. Patterson, it is with great pressure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application 14F and pre-approval has been granted to raise the weekly premium on your life insurance policy from 370 to 590. This raise came effective on January 1st, 1947, where our standard veteran care policy entitled you to the lump sum payout of 10,000. Life insurance. Yeah. Hmm. This new plan secures your beneficiaries a sum of 16000 Wow. Okay. We, uh, we at California Fire and Life thank you and wish you good health and security for your future. Oh, maybe this was premeditated. Huh. I guess the question is who is this guy's beneficiary? Okay. Good to know. That's information that's good to have in the back pocket. Yeah, this this in black and white is really striking. 
Ugh. Anything on the arms? Let's see... A wedding ring. Hmm. Okay, what do we got over on the right arm? No, nothing... Nothing too interesting here. Hmm. Nothing on the head. We got stuff from his pockets. What have you got on the victim? Yeah. What do you know about More this? More reports he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. Okay, I mean, he was coming out of a bar. I intoxicated once I'd done the autopsy. Looking him over now... I'd say he died on impact. Yeah, yeah. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Hmm. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Okay, things are okay. Yeah, I mean, th there's a reason why they changed the design of cars specifically because they were Careful murder machines. I don't come oh. down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. There's something here. Oh, oh, it's the, the track that the body left. Oh God! Body traveled a good twenty feet. Yeah, they just kept going. So they were going at high speed, huh? Interesting. Maybe it was premeditated. Maybe the 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 driver knew they were going to be here, or maybe they were told that they were going to be here. This blood is a long way from the body. Yeah. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Hmm. Yeah. In in the in the in the cutscene that we saw. It seemed like the car was just going. Oh, but these look like brake marks. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. Uh-huh. So they did see him. Interesting. Okay. Anything else? Because this is where he stumbled, right? This is where he came Sorry, out. Detective. Yeah. Hmm. Where's the brake? There's where the, the impact of the body, obviously it flew quite a bit, or, or skidded quite a bit. Into the hats, okay. Hmm. Again, it could just be a coincidence that he so happened to... Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, what? Um... Excuse? A knife covered in blood. What is this bloody knife doing here? Knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen. Yeah. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Yeah, I mean, I, I know that they had... I guess the, the question is, I'm not sure what their DNA evidence would have been like at the time. Could they even type it to the victim if they wanted to? I guess they could tell if it was human blood or not. Because we got that with the, the swine blood. Okay. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. Oh, I recognize this actress. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what can you tell us about what happened? Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people Yeah, I recognize downstairs. this woman. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there were people arguing downstairs. Um, I don't have a reason to distrust her. She seems forthright. Okay. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Mm hmm Okay. So, what can you tell us about the car? What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Okay. Um, seems straightforward. I mean... Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, uh, I'm afraid. 3C8. Huh. Okay, so what did you hear about the argument? Tell me more about the argument yeah. you heard. Well, there were two voices. Okay. Man and a woman. Man and a all. woman. Hmm. Interesting. Her body language is a lot different with this one. She's not just looking at us straight on. Huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna bad cop this. She seems like she's being a little sus. Barry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspaper. Oh, uh, of course. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. Yeah, yeah, a starlet in the making. Yep. Mm -hmm. Things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. Yeah. What did you hear? What did you hear? People arguing. They oh. were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Oh. Very embarrassing for the man. That we did not get from the scene Thank that we saw. Say. It looked Your like he just walked out into helpful. the street. You can go now. Uh -huh. You really think so? No, oh, shucks. I hope you find that driver and put him away. Okay. I mean, we didn't see if it was Certainly a man or woman driving the, the car. Phelps. 
Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Right, right. So I'm assuming the, I'll the, take the, bartender. the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Yeah, we'll probably have the most information because you have to assume that he would be not drunk. <laughs> oh, we got another newspaper here. Oh, no. Okay, are they all going to be about this guy? Because, oh, dear God, he is horrifying. Dr. Harlan J. Fontaine. Man who has a penchant for turtlenecks. Come in. Have a seat. Right, so this is the, the med student from the, the first scene. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Okay. Hmm. Seems are a little disgruntled. Sure? Yeah. Can I be honest with you, doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. God, this guy is sus as hell. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Uh, therapy back then was not very beneficial. Unfortunately, be very long. It was mostly drugs, just really hard drugs. So many of the patients here are addicts, doctor. Oh, weird. Many of them have been for years. Almost like you're turning them into addicts. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatorium. This is not much of an improvement. We can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, and have you had any successes? Days? Yeah. Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? Hmm. I was expecting more, Doctor. Yeah, a little bit more. I'm sorry. Oh no, there's there's plenty to criticize here. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. Hmm. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Yeah. Many of their addictions. I think it's because he's made them uh, like oh, addicted to many them. Things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal? Oh, this guy is becoming even more weird. Okay. What the hell is he doing? Like, what is his end game? Again, it's, he keeps saying there's improvements and this is like a beneficial thing, but it seems like the the proof is not in that pudding. All right, so he's gonna he's gonna take care of everyone else. Let's actually look around here first. Again. I, I prefer to look around. Oh, wait, can we call about something? Uh, I don't know if we know anything. Oh, I guess we can find out where this guy lives, right? I guess we had the address from his thing, but maybe we can look up anything about him. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll give him a call. Operator, message for KGPL. Oh, we need to get, yes, yes, crime scene analysis down here. Look through the Cole alleyway. Phelps, batch 1247. Yeah. Make sure they canvas the whole thing in How case... There was something going on in the I alley. I need to run a partial license plate. Three Charles. Oh, and the license plate. Right, right, right. Possible Lincoln owners. Yes. Suspect vehicle is Dark a red, red Lincoln. Lincoln yeah. Continental. Mm -hmm. Just a moment, detective. Man, imagine so few cars existing at the time that you could Only actually do this in a reasonable time. Ah. Oh. to a William Shelton. William Shelton. 38 West Temple Street. Very good. Thanks, okay. I, I forgot about that little bit of info. The partial plate number that she Looks gave like us. like we caught a break on this one. Yeah. Only one car make... Hmm. Oh, and we can go back. Oh, oh, this is the alley. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. We didn't see anything else out here, right? We, we just found the knife in the dumpster, but again, that feels like a big red herring. Oh, God, there's a rat. Okay. Yeah, nothing else out here. Unless there's something... Uh, just a bottle, right? Yep. None of these bottles have proved useful yet. Seems irrelevant. But you never know, right? The bottle was the murder weapon and the murderer. Oh, wait, what is this? Doesn't give me anything to go on. That looks like a spark plug, but I guess, you know, it could just be garbage. Hmm. The I bottle. Ah, oh, Cole, you don't have enough imagination. Yeah, so we already looked through here. Yeah, we found the bloody knife. Again, wild that we're just touching this with our hands. But you know, Cole is living that life. Is there anything else in there? Huh. Yeah, it seems it's it's giving us the ping like there's something else with this that we missed. Hmm. No, no, I think I think we're good. I think we found it. Again, it could have just been a knife that got too dull or or destroyed that they just threw it out, but. Hey, it's worth checking out. All right, let's step back inside and, and talk. I think we've gotten everything. There's no music playing, so I'm assuming that means we found all the evidence. Yeah, nothing else around here, right? Okay, let's talk with you. 
I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Yeah. Dudley Lynch. Dudley Lynch. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Okay. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Huh. Oh, right, right. Because the wife was here, right? Okay, so what can you tell us about the hit and run incident? What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. It doesn't look very busy. Hmm. Oh, what is going on? Yeah, this guy, he knows something, so but we don't have anything outside? yet to it's accuse him. licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. Okay. The owner made him take it outside. Wait, the owner was, was here then? Oh, but he, he took he took the wife home. Right, right, right. Okay, so what did you know anything about the, you the, know victim? the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. Okay. He's a regular here, or he was. Hmm. Let's watch. Uh, no, nothing nothing fishy this time, so okay. I'll buy You're it for not now. One of your favorite customers? Hmm. Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Huh. Was okay. Lester drinking alone? I mean, his no, wife was here. He came yeah. in with his wife. Okay. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a, a very fun spot to hang out, but you never know. All right, so what did you hear about the argument? A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. Are they always going at like each other? your dirty laundry in public, is there? Yeah, that's a bad scene. But you didn't say anything. Hmm. Yeah, this guy does not make a lot of eye contact when he's not being forthright. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? Mm -hmm. What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Okay. Lorna and Leroy are close. Oh. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Uh -huh. Leroy. Leroy Sabo. Oh, the, the owner's owner. pretty close with the wife, huh? Interesting. So what about this joint business venture? How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about yeah. this new bar? Hmm. Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. Oh, come on. Yeah, this guy does not make a lot of eye contact. Yeah, he keeps shifting around. But I don't have any evidence or anything, so I guess I just have to bad cop him again. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Yeah, you if you want to know the gossip, to you listen to the bartender. Rough. They'll tell you what's really Unless going he was on. Drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. Okay. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't okay. know how interested he is. Hmm. Is Leroy doing well? Yeah. Hell no. Then the how could you open up another bar? To to the poker games. Hmm. Oh, oh, Leroy. Thanks for yeah. your help, Lynch. Okay, so I'm we got four correct here. Nice. The okay. Sure. No problem. That wasn't too bad. It was pretty easy to read this you guy. Get anything out of the regulars? So far, there hasn't been a real too tough much one. Away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. Oh, I imagine it would Unless be very entertaining, if not very time. awkward. Hmm. Yeah, Lester does not seem like a good guy. My suspicion is telling me that maybe he was murdered for the insurance money, but I don't know how they could have done it, though. Okay, so... Oh, I wonder if we can ask about where the owner lives. Let's let's try calling into dispatch again. Oh, no, we can't. We have no new information. Okay, that's good to know. They won't let us call if we don't have anything to ask them about. Okay, so... I guess let's head on over... Yeah, the music isn't playing, so I'm assuming we got all the evidence here. I'm interested to know about the the knife, though. That That is a very, very suspicious red herring. So, oh, wait, we didn't get everything here. Wait a second. Yeah, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We didn't get everything here. It's not crossed out. Oh. What the hell are we missing here, then? Got this right. Unless there's, a, like, a way I do I need to look at this? Um... We looked at this, but nothing really came of it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. Hmm. Yeah, because normally it doesn't it crosses it out when we're done with it, but the music isn't playing, so my instinct's telling me we should just go. Maybe we'll come back here? Hey, maybe there's something we missed in the bar. No, we got the newspaper. With the, the world's sketchiest doctor. Yeah, nothing here. I can't talk to him anymore, right? You need to take this up with Leroy. His audio recording is not not that good. <laughs> hey, Cole, looking sharp. Nice pinstripe. 
Okay, anything back here? Oh, the poker game. This is why everybody comes to raise. Uh huh. Oh, you gotta love a backroom uh, poker game. Okay, so now is this place crossed off? Yes, okay, there we go. That's what we were missing. Man, looking cool there, Bukowski. Looking cool. All right, so let's go out to the car, and where do we want to go next? Hmm. Yeah, what, what would be the better chain of evidence to follow? Oh, I just kind of want to look in the window. Man, this stuff is so cool, the way they've fleshed out this world. I wonder how much of this is original content versus real advertising or, or books or newspaper or magazines that they've built it around. Either way, let's get in. Oh, it's all bucket seats. All right. So, where are we going to next? So, hmm. Let's see. Shelton is the... I wonder if it's Leroy Shelton is the owner of the car. Hmm. All right, let's, go, let's try the Pattison residence. Yeah, this is... The, the the murder victim, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go there first. 